well our second chapter is all about principles of management so coming to the concept of principles of management a manager principle is a broad and general guideline for decision making and behavior that is it is a guideline for making or a, a basis for making uh, decisions for example when you consider uh, for giving promotion to an employee you will look his work his performance his seniority all this act aspect is being considered so on the basis of which a decision is made that basis is known as principles coming to the nature of principles uh, the principles of management is not as rigid as the principle uh, uh, as science because in science it is rigid it is not flexible because the result is a uh, same but in case of management it differs it is a uh, more flexible when it comes to management let us look at the nature of management the first one is universal applicability that the principles of management intend to apply to all types of organization business as well as non business more as well as large public sector as well as private manufacturing as well as services so whichever sector is there in the economy and wherever organizations or business unit exist this principles of management is equally applicable to all next is general guidelines principles are general guidelines to actions but do not provide ready made solutions to all managerial problems as uh, the human behavior is uh, varying every each individual will have different behavior so we cannot uh, um, uh, give ready made solutions to the management problem it's according to the situation we take necessary decisions but it is a general decision is taken third one is formed by practice and experimentation is manager principles are formed by use of practice use of experience and experimentations the solution for a problem is uh, taken on the basis of some experience or uh, experiment such as next is flexible the principles of management can be changed according to the situation we can change the the solutions for one problem we can have alternative solutions we can uh, select the best solution which can tackle the uh, problem so which we can solve the problem so it is flexible but in case of science it is rigid then it is mainly behavior because dealing with human beings a bit difficult task it, it is mainly the mainly principles of management is uh, dealing with human behavior next is cause and effect uh, relationship the principles of management are intended to establish relationship between cause and effect so that they can be used in similar situation in a large number of cases as such they tell us if a particular principle was applied in a particular situation what would be its likely effect that is for a cause and effect relation is considered that is um, for in case of science we can say a doctor prescribing a medicine to certain disease so uh, the medicine is being prescribed uh, relating to what disease the person is suffering from in such a case uh, uh, likely we can say in management to the problem a solution is being provided so cause and effect is considered next is contingent application of principles of management is conti- or dependent upon prevailing situation as we said before uh, a decision is taken on the basis of whatever situation is existing in the organization so it is uh, dependent upon the situation the decision or principle or ma- principle of management is dependent on the situation that is being prevailing at the point of time now let us move on to the significance of principles of management here we are discussing the importance of the principles of management why we are using this management principles in the area of work the first one is it provides managers with useful insight into reality a knowledge of certain thing uh, the knowledge uh, if a manager has uh, uh, well versed knowledge in the field in which he is working then he can uh, deal with that field with more efficiency and with more effective effectiveness the chance of making mistakes will be reduced because he have a proper knowledge about that part or that area next is optimum utilization of resources and effective administration what do you mean by optimum use of uh, utilization of resources it means that by reducing wastage we are uh, increasing our quality and reducing cost we are making use of efficient products so our product will be having less cost more effectiveness more value more quality and we are going to reduce wastage this is known as effective utilization of resources and 
these principles also allow these managers to take decisions and act actions uh, they they can use a trial and error method to overcome the problems they, they can uh, understand the problem early and they can take measures to avoid such problems in the future so for administration as well as for the better utilization of resources principles of management helps a lot next is scientific decision decision must be based on the facts thoughtful and justifiable in terms of intent and purpose a decision that is taken must be justifiable it should be based on facts and it should be based on experience it should be timely realistic and we must be able, we should be able to measure it or evaluate it such decision must be made this is meeting the changing environment requirement that is as we said business environment is changing the political environment 